they're not normal size kites. They're kites that are the size of a school bus that are, or, or larger. They're almost like Macy's Day Parade size kites, if you will. And those are obviously balloons, but ours, you know, fly and anchor just like any other kite would. And, you know, they're all handmade pieces of kite and, and art. And, you know, they're, you know, it's not something you make on a machine, so to speak. It takes a, you know, a, a pretty talented kite artist to, to make some of these and then do the, you know, the, uh, the layout of the kite and then ultimately how it's bridled and how it flies and everything else. So the collection that we have from these large show kites to our banners and some of our ground displays involve, you know, the, the, the caterpillars, the trilobites, the spiky balls, the bouncers, the cats, dogs. You know, we've got Clifford, the big red dog. We've got giant whales. We've got a whole pot of whales that we fly, one of which is well over 130 feet long. Well, that's a kite we haven't had out in a while, that yellow whale. It's one of our bigger ones. It's the uh, biggest version that they make, and uh, we haven't flown them in about a year, so it's good to get them out of the bag. He's up there with the blue whale and the manta ray. You know, the idea is if somebody saw us last year, you know, come this next year, because we'll have different kites up in the skies. The truth is, it is, it is truly a universal, uh, enjoyable time. You know, it's exhausting. It's a lot of work with 8,000 pounds of nylon and diesel truck. I mean, it's, there's a lot of work with it. But you look up and you see 10, 20, 30,000 people or families that are just there and wouldn't be there. It's like if we ever thought about not doing that, I've told Stephanie a lot, like, man, if we don't do this. Look at all these people that wouldn't be out here today enjoying their family. We're literally in the amazing memory business for not just kids, really for the young and the young at heart.